So here I am trying to replace these two intermediate brake hoses. That's the extra pair that you have to care about if you have this this kind of a car. The problem is well there is a couple of problems. <clears throat> First of all, these are difficult to get to because of the subframe that uh, takes up the space. And and I got the subframe out of the way. I removed the subframe for a different reason, but but to really get to these two, you have to really do something about making up more room than than there is when the subframe is installed and in place. If you want to get to these hoses and those fittings, that's what you have to deal with. My subframe is about half inch or an inch down at this point but um, it's still really I, I guess if you have a good wrench with the proper angle you really can get to these and uh, and remove them but still you're dealing with um, a really limited space and there is the sway bar in the way and uh, and I have so we have basically two hoses and these tubes hard lines are going into those fittings on the ends of the hoses the other problem is that so if you get too much rust you might never be able to remove those fittings or undo those knots I was a little bit lucky and this one kind of freed up itself so it's going and it's turning without twisting the tube there's some brake fluid coming so i'm going to tighten this up a little bit this one on the other hand yeah there is rust and it's already twisting with the tube i think this this tube is done really so there is some rusty brake fluid coming well the brake fluid is nice oh so the brake fluid is, is clean, it's just this coming out and it's pushing all that rust out. So, I mean, I can let it probably sit and hoping that the brake fluid will help with the rust, but I think, uh, I think that is done. Unfortunately, I had an older car that I had to replace these hoses on and... Um, and it didn't have that much rust and I could I could remove those fittings and uh, and worked this one is uh, is just uh, well this one is okay the other one is uh, is a pain I guess I will have to figure that out so I suppose I can start with this one that the one that is removable still and just undo that and remove the hose and just plug that uh, pipe tube and then figure out what to do with the other one so let's remove this one just turn this as far as it goes until it just comes out of the I should probably deal with this tube too it's in the way kinda should move it out of the way but in any case I will disconnect this one first and so we have hose number one this piece of junk there is a there is this piece of a metal rusty clip and there is the problem and the problem is that all the dirt and moisture that gets along the tube into the fitting it makes, I guess, the tube corrode to the knot and they just fuse and even this one is not really turning that, that well. I mean, it was spinning, but it's tight, so I cannot just uh, do anything about it, really. I mean, it's still okay. It's, I'm just worried that this, this tube might have too much corrosion inside of the fitting, inside of the knot. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I guess, uh, this one here is uh, 
kind of okay and I just plugged it with the fitting now this one I'm, I'm going to cut it here I might even cut this to make to get me a uh, kind of more access to uh, to gain more access to uh, to the tube and it will shorten up the tube by like a whole inch so I'll see how that goes I hope it has enough of a length to really deal with the short perversion so let's let's start cutting cut something I really don't want to cut so I got a bit of a different cutter here but uh, this one is uh, I cannot change the rotation and the only way I can use it is this direction so I kind of have to protect myself a little bit from cut so this is 11 I think oh stupid me it's actually loose so this comes off this is something that's the the whole issue I think the problem is going to be that I don't have enough room for the fitting Let's see what else I can do about it, because giving up is not an option, really. I have to get it fixed. The new plan. I keep fiddling with these brake lines, and the problem is, well, there is a problem as always. This piece of a pipe that I cut is too short to use with this flare tool so what I have to do is undo this 90 degree straighten this up um, install the knot flare the end then bend it back 90 degrees and I think I will try that first um, it will make the tube about an inch shorter but that probably could work the other option is to cut this somewhere here or here, possibly here, and basically just run a new piece of a tubing and uh, use a sort of a coupler. Basically like cut it here, flare this end, install the nut, install the coupler and make another piece of a tubing to run all the way to to this bracket the other possibility is uh, well sort of since I'm going with solid subframe bushings that means the subframe is not going to move around at all so I really don't need these two hoses what I can do I can actually run uh, a tube through those fittings all the way to wherever it connects to the subframe and just completely eliminate those two hoses so that I'm kind of really considering that option I kind of like it um I like that idea the other issue is is with the BMW tubing and it cannot be any other way because these are what these are in a standard world or universe i guess these are m10 basically 10 millimeter by one pitch fittings that are supposed to be used with a 4.76 or 3 16 of an inch tubing so this and you can buy these fittings nuts fittings tubing and it all measures up like this tubing that i bought is a 4.8 something like that it's coated so about 4.76 I guess that's the nominal so 4.85 naturally so all of these knots will actually work like this one stainless 
is just fine because they are meant to work with those so the internal diameter of this knot is 5.5 .5, something like that which is uh, a normal fit for a standard tube now BMW is different these tubes are vinyl or whatever rubber plastic coated so the diameter of those is five roughly five point two of an eight, uh, millimeter these knots that you can buy from different places that are standard are not going to fit over this BMW tubing so you either have to reuse BMW fittings or you can rim or drill these knots to a bigger diameter slightly and uh, or you can completely get rid of BMW tubing well I wish I could you really cannot buy those as far as I know so so I came up with an idea and I, I think I'm going to try try doing that that's pretty much what it's like at this moment so I'm going to try undo this 90 degree and uh, see if I can flare it and then re and bend it again what I don't like about that idea is that it's going to be too short but I'm going to try if I can actually make this work I I don't want to install any extensions that's kind of uh, no fun I guess